I have to open the shrink wrap on this vintage software item because I am in a good position to archive it and I don't want to wait. But before I do so, I wanted to show uh, that this item is a perfect example of what original shrink wrap is. So how do you determine what original shrink is? Let's go ahead and do uh, a couple of tests. For one thing, is the wrap flexible? And it is somewhat flexible. Now, of course, this is the tough part about trying to purchase uh, vintage software items off of eBay. You can't handle them, uh, but you can Certainly if you're like at a thrift store or whatever, or you're trying to trade with someone locally, you can determine that this uh, if you're handling it. So is the wrap flexible? In this case, yes. Uh, next step, is the wrap sealed very, very well, almost as if a machine did it? Are there any uh, bad seams? Are there, is it dirty on the edges? And uh, Sure enough, this is very clean. It is also a little wrinkly, or only around the edges, and it's not wrinkly on the surface, so that's good too. So that's also a good sign that this is original wrap. Um, another thing is, is it only sealed on two or three sides? Actually, three sides. So we have a seal here, this is side one. We have a seal here, side two. And no seal here, which is good and a seal here, side three. So what does that mean? Most factory and re-shrink machines were uh, three sides. And if you have one with four, it means that someone manually did that because they must have had way too much shrink on either side or they were a novice at doing it. And uh, you know, any seam on all four sides is a big red flag. One other thing we can check as well, uh, are there any price stickers on it? And sure enough, there are price stickers on this item. Not only is there one, not only are there is there any price sticker, but there's actually two. There's one, and there's another one right on top of it. And uh, you also need to make sure that these are on top of the wrap. And yes, these stickers are on top of the wrap. If they were under the wrap, that's an automatic fail. It means that the stickers were originally applied to the outside of the item, and then someone shrinked over it, and that is absolutely not how uh, stuff was delivered from the factory. These stickers were added by the retail store after it was delivered from the factory, after it was already shrinked. These stickers are on top, so yet another good reason. And then finally, we have the, uh, while not present on all factory shrink, uh, it is interesting to see that there are uh, these telltale, perfectly circular holes in the shrink, even after it has been applied, even after the heat has been applied with a, with a gun. And not only do we have two here, and they're mostly perfectly circular, they're not, you know, oval shaped or anything like that, but we also have two more on the back. And uh, they're a little too regular to be accidents or anything like that. Um, I haven't figured out why a lot of original shrink has perfectly circular holes in it. It must be some, some maybe it's uh, something stamped into it to let the air out as it shrinks is my guess. But uh, this unit passes all the tests and I am 100% certain that this is original shrink. And uh, having finally recorded it for future posterity, I'm now about to rip the shrink wrap off to archive the diskettes. So hope you enjoyed this small look at uh, how to identify original shrink wrap on software collectibles.